Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about uh, interview questions related to database testing. So the first question is, what is database testing? The database testing is nothing but, if you can see here, right, there is a UI layer will be there and there will be a business logic layer will be there and we have a database layer also will be there. So basically whatever the testing which will be performing is the database testing is a piece of testing which we perform here. Here a piece of testing can be done in database testing either can be done, get it done from the client side or even if we can get it from the server side as well to ensure that whatever data which is available in the database which is appropriate. And we call database testing is also called as a backend testing. This testing involves taking off the database schemas, database tables and triggers as part of this database testing. Then the next question is what is a data driven testing? The data driven testing is nothing but where we are going to test the application using parameterized test data. So we won't be entering one by one uh, manual data. All the data we will be keeping it is in a data source. The data source can come from the database itself or an Excel file or a text file or a CSV file. Whatever the way we are going to store the data is called it as a data source. And this data source will be, will be using in our testing method to test the data for an application and we will be ensuring that whatever the data which we are going to use for this application based on that we will be deciding whether application is getting passed or failed. The third question is what are joins? What are the various different types of joins available in the database? The joins are nothing but it is a process of taking data from a multiple tables and combining into a one generated view. Suppose if we can say here left join. So left join is so this is one table and this is one table and you will be creating a different view to get the only data related to this aspect. In the similar way the right join where we will have two tables but we will be creating a view only for viewing the data which is on the right side. Similarly we have inner join we will be creating a view just to get the data from this perspective and full outer join is we will be creating a view of a different perspective here. There are various uh, different types of joins available in the database testing. Inner joins, left outer joins, right outer joins, full outer join, cross joins and so on. Fourth question is what are the indexes and different types of indexes available in database testing. Indexes are nothing but if you remember whenever you are reading a book there will be an index section will be in the last uh, pages in the book. If you wanted to easily identify a particular keyword or particular item you can directly go back to the last page where it lists all the keywords which are used in the textbooks that can be easily located using those indexes. Similarly even during database testing also there will be indexes will be get created so that if you wanted to, so that if you wanted to search for any particular uh, row or a column, we won't be verifying each and every stuff. Whenever we see indexes, we directly opt to here or if we see the right indices, we'll come here, something like that. So without going and checking each and every row or each and every column by using indexes, it is very easy for us to search the things very quicker enough. There are various uh, types of uh, indexes available. We have primary indexes, secondary indexes, reverse indexes, hash index, dense index and sparse indexes. These are the, some of the important uh, different types of indexes available in the databases. Fifth question is what steps must take a tester should take while testing the stored procedure? The answer is the steps to be done by the tester while testing the stored procedures are First, they need to check all the indexes available in the databases, all the joins 
related to that stored procedures and they should be able to delete the stored procedure and they should be able to update the stored these are the some of the operations they can do by the tester related to stored procedure testing then the sixth one is what are the steps to test data loading the number one is basically in order to test data loading you should be knowing about uh, tables columns and associated any constraint a primary constraint or foreign constraint and data types and also the tester should be knowing about the target tables where we are trying to load the data and they should be knowing what is the target data tables columns and data types and various constraints which is available should also check for compatibility of uh, source and target because we are trying to pick the data from the source and we are trying to load into the target whenever we are trying to perform this activity we should know we should know or we should do all these activities then the seventh question is what is the way of writing the test cases for a database testing first we should understand the functional requirement of a given application that is the first thing we should do while performing a database testing and the second one is you should be able to find out tables, join and cursor, triggers, stored procedure, input and output parameters which are going to be used as part of this database testing. That is the second things we should know while writing the test cases for database testing. And the third one is to write the test cases with the multiple input values for checking the all the different paths. That what are the different ways we can test the database procedures and triggers. In order to test the database procedure and triggers, we should have a complete knowledge on the what are the input parameters and output parameters to test the database procedures and triggers. What is DBMS? DBMS is nothing but database management system which is a computerized of way of keeping the data in a computer. DBMS is nothing but it is a software which makes use of uh, organizing the data in a very particular manner. Main functions of DBMS are it will ensure that there is a security is involved and, is, and uh, DBMS, will have a, DBMS will have a concurrency features and it can take up uh, very easily backups and it can recover as well if we lost any data. There is a lot of integrity aspects also the DBMS will take care and also data description also will be available in the DBMS uh, software. Then what is DML? DML is a data manipulation language which is a computer programming language for inserting deleting and updating data into a database and there are two types of DMLs available which is data manipulation language one is we can do it through procedural languages and another one is non-procedural languages what are DCL commands the DCL commands are nothing but these are the commands which are used to access control and permission management for a user in a given database. In order to take care of any control or if you wanted to give any particular permission to a user or anybody in that DBMS, then these DCL commands will be used. Some of the important DCL commands are grant command where by using grant we can give the access to a specific user on the specific activity he can perform. Similarly, we can use revoke to remove the some of the accessibility or permission given to a particular user for a particular database application. For a, for a particular database, we can use this revoke uh, command. Then what is RDBMS? We just talked about DBMS. Now we will talk about what is RDBMS. RDBMS is nothing but a relational database management system. It is also a software which is used to store, manage, query and retrieve data stored in a relational database. Relational database management systems provide an interface between the users and application and a database to operate upon. What is DDL? DDL is nothing but data definition language 
which is a standard command that defines a structure of a database. If you wanted to define a structure in the database, then you will be using this data definition languages. The DDL statement can be in order to create anything in the database like tables, indices, users, we can use up this DDL language either for creating or removing or modifying any of these tables, indices and users, we can use data definition languages. Next question is what is the importance of database testing? The importance of database testing just to ensure that it uh, validates all the data values and information received in the database and stored in the database are really a valid one or invalid one as part of this database testing. We will also be testing whether whatever data is getting stored in the database is really getting saved properly or not or is really lost in the data of the data is still exist or not and whether the even unauthorized person can access the data or not. All this uh, activity will be performing as part of the database testing. The next question is what is database triggers? The database triggers are nothing but it is a procedural code, it is a program or it is a code which is automatically executed to certain events in a particular table or a particular view. That is how this database triggers will operate. These database triggers are used to maintain the integrity of the information on the database. So what are the different ways of testing the stored procedure? In order to test the stored procedure, testers should know the complete integrity of a given requirements for the databases. You should have a clear understanding of what is the stored procedure does what is the purpose of implementing that stored procedure and also what are the different indexes are creating, what are the different joints are there, what are the different updates are there, deletions, verification of all these parameters as part of this stored procedure and we will be running this stored procedure and we will be verifying all the results as part of this testing the stored procedure. What SQL statement can be used in database testing. The SQL statement can be used in database testing such as DDL, data definition language, DML, data manipulator language, DCL, data control language. These are the some of the statement normally we use while testing a database by using the SQL commands. I am hoping this video was very useful for you. If you guys really like this video, then please give a thumbs up to this video. If